Thank you, Bob. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, call this meeting to order at 6.32. It's August 23rd, 2017. To my right, Wilma Engelman. To my left, Carl Baptiste. Myself, Jim Ekabachi, acting chair this evening and clerk. Our chairman has been called away on an emergency, family health emergency and two other members are unable to attend for scheduling conflicts. That leaves us barely enough members to do business, but not enough members to vote. So anybody that's before the board on a public hearing, of which we have two tonight, I would recommend continuing. I not only recommend it, it has to be continued. Preliminary business, we have minutes to approve and extension of time um, and a modification. We could act on those items, but I warn anybody uh, uh, that one dissenting vote would kill you with only three of us here. <clears throat> I, um, I strongly recommend that we continue even, we don't even need to officially continue on the preliminaries. We simply need you to come back. So can we open? We can open? Can we, on the extension, it's just an extension of time. We can, but if Wilma says no, he's dead. Why would, it, why would anyone say no for an extension? But it's, um, it's certainly up to the applicant to make you know, to take that chance. It's just, it's just giving them more time. It's, you know, it's, all it is. it's not that it's you. tying up, uh, you know, I, anything. I, it's just giving the applicant more time. <clears throat> we can't vote. We can if we can. If there's, uh, that's doubtful that you can actually vote on this one anyway, because you need a supermajority to uh, yeah. supermajority that's yeah. here. Yeah. Or of the board. Of the board, you need the four votes. So, <clears throat> well, I tried. And he didn't put see, down how much time I know you tried. Wanted. I just, I can't see giving an applicant of, you know, this is his I first hate to time. Make people, I hate make, making people come back. This I, is his I, first time here, you know, it's, it's for an extension. I don't see it as a problem. The, the, the only ones that benefit from making people come back are the lawyers that get to charge to come back. The applicants get to pay them. <laughs> and I don't mean, to, I'm not trying to be a smarty pants on that. I, 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 I really hate it. I'm, I, oh. I never miss the meeting because I don't want to be the cause of costing somebody that lives in my town extra fees for, oh, for, well, for this. In a Mr. <laughs> Mr. Acting Chairman. Yes. Uh, you can maybe ask Len Bellow Council as to whether or not uh, it requires a supermajority to extend time on a variance. I'm not sure. I don't know if he's willing you to have an opinion. opinion. You're willing to make an opinion on that um, thought? I would, I would, yes, do any vote on a variance. Required on a variance, right. yep, that's. And it's still on the variance. I mean, it's yep. an application on the variance. But I don't think if this time runs out that you can legitimately hold that against Be them. That it ran out because of us. People put in we weren't. Right. There wasn't a board to, to vote, so he was here to be to be voted upon. So I, I think that. I just think that should be part of a part of your record that he was here making that request. And you put it in. When does your time run? When does his time run out? It, it ran out already. Time. It already ran out. Ran out, but I had additional time for his variance. Well, let's go back to our, uh, to our agenda and our agenda. The first item on the agenda is to approve the meeting minutes from August 9th, 2017. I'm doing this to give you folks a little chance to think, and then I'm going to give you the, the opportunity to answer yes or no in the future. Um, regarding the minutes from August 9th, I reviewed them. Wilma reviewed them. Um, I believe them to be accurate. I make a motion that we go ahead and accept them and sign them as approved. And I would make that in the form of a motion. I need either you. Second it. Okay, it's seconded by Wilma. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, it passes unanimously. We can sign this.
Okay, with that aside, the next item on our agenda this evening is an extension of time from Canton Masonary 2298 Cranberry Highway. You're welcome to come up and speak in front of the board. You're welcome to come back at a later time or... I think at this point I should ask for an extension. I think that that's fair and... There's would, no way that you guys can vote. It's an automatic. We don't, I don't even think we need to vote. Right. We don't have, yeah, we have a board. To. So we're going to extend to the next to the next meeting. The soonest we can get you in here is two weeks, and that date is um, September 13th. September 13, I believe. Is 13. it 13? 13. Yeah. So you uh, you and anybody having any interest in that should come back on the 13th. Okay. Thank you for coming in. I'm sorry to. This make shouldn't you come reflect back. on him either. This isn't. This no. This doesn't. Okay. It's on the record. No problem. I understand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your patience with us. The next item on the agenda is a modification by Afif El Baba, 3070 Cranberry Highway. He's already asked to be withdrawn prior to the meeting. That preliminary business is officially withdrawn. Next on the agenda are public hearings. As far as the public hearings go, the very first one is petition 26-17, Osama Mohammed, 307 Main Street. Um, point of order, do we, with three members, can we even open it? Uh, I believe you can, but you'd have to continue. Open and continue, okay, so we're gonna open 307 Main Street, Osama, if you're here, you may come forward. We are representing Osama. I have to read it. He's present. I have to read it into the record so that we are officially open. The Zoning Board of Appeals will hold a public hearing on August 23rd, 2017 at 6.30 p.m. in room 320 of the Wayham Multi-Service Center, 48 Marion Road, Wayham, Massachusetts, 02571 for consideration of petition number 26-17 for a use variance, comma, special permit and appeal of the building commissioner's decision from the requirements of Article 3, Table 320, Article 13, Section 1341, Article 14, and Section 1460 of the Wayham Zoning Bylaws to Osama Mohammed, care of Leonard M. Bellow, Esquire, 184 Main Street, Wayham, Mass, 02571, seeking to reestablish use at an existing fueling station located at 307 Main Street, Wayham, Mass. That's on Assessor's Map 47, Lot 1153, in the Wayham Village 1 Zoning District. Do you care to make any comment before we recommend continuance? Do you want to be the requester or do you want the board to request the continuance? I I, it's, it, the continuance is not at my request. Okay, the continuance then, we'll, is then the board the will board. request a continuance right. and ask you to come back in two weeks. Do we need to vote? We don't even need to vote on that, it's automatic. Do you want your form filled out? He's got one. He, he's got the form in front of him. I got the form. Okay. Um, He's not requesting not, that we are. I'm not filling out that form. It's not at my request. It's oh. because you don't have a board. It, it, I understand your position. I agree with it. Well, what, what that does is without the request for extension, it... it uh, I'm requesting it as acting the, chair uh, time, because... the time frame for the uh, decision. How does it shorten the time frame? It's not on him. No, but you have a... He's, he, he's here ready, willing... And we, have, we have a specific date that you have to make a decision by and this continues that that this is it gives him less time to make it gives gives you less time right. but again that's not his fault if we don't have a board and that time runs out he's automatically approved that's not his fault correct if Quite the board frankly, can't be here to act that's the purpose that's the purpose of, of that that's correct is that's otherwise exactly correct and i'm not going to manipulate as a as sitting as acting chair i'm not going to manipulate the purpose of the law the, 
That's the laws in there for the, your protection, your, you and your client's protection. Absolutely. If I so, request it because I can't be here or that's or the way my, I feel about it. If client can't be here, then I'd be if, glad if, to sign. If either it. member of the present feel differently, voice your opinion now. But that's exactly the reason for that provision. Fair enough. If we can't be here to vote, and he comes enough times, so, it's a rubber stamp. So we continue yes. at the next. The 13th? If you can hear it on the 13th, then we would like You'll to be hear here. it on the 13th. Okay. Yeah, because we have nothing else. So I, I think we'll continue to the 13th. At the board's request. At the board's request. Or the board's lack of quorum. Yeah, it's not a quorum. It's, Okay, thank you for coming in. Thanks. The next one on the um, agenda is number 29-17, Dorothy Schnetzer, 31 Priscilla Avenue. Is Dorothy present or anybody to represent her? It's not. Let the record show that there was no petitioner here. I think we should still continue that and notify her to no, come it back has on to the. Be, it has to be re. It has to be re-advertised anyway, but we we need to tell her that. Well, I so. thought uh, Jasmine was going to notify. Maybe she already did. Her. She does. Yeah. Right. So we're going to continue. It's JC ain't here. For the record, the reason the chatter is that Wilma noticed that the public. Notification was improperly yeah, mapped and lot, so it, what didn't get proper public is, notice so it will need now? to be re-advertised. Are you Priscilla? Dorothy. Pardon me? Dorothy. Dorothy, I'm sorry. Are you Dorothy, ma'am? Are you Dorothy? Okay. Nope. So they probably did take care of it beforehand. Continue per advertising. That ends our public hearings. There were no continued public hearings. It's this one. It says correspondence. It's woman there. We have a discussion of rules and regulations for use variants. This was a request that came into my office from uh, Mr. David Shanahan, who uh, had asked about issues regarding use variances in the town. And without being specific about the, uh, the, the application, uh, what he wanted to do is get a sense of the board of how use variances are considered. I, I, so this is a discussion of rules and regulations pertaining to a specific application. No, it isn't. Just on use variances. Just on use variances. Just a general discussion. For drive-through. For drive-through. Drive-through restaurant. Restaurant. Okay. So it is. Specific. It is for a specific <laughs> application, but yes, it, yes, but no. Yes, but no. Are you? Are you? I'm David Shannon. Yeah, the per, all right. I'm, I'm the perpetrator. David, um, I'm happy to have the conversation mm -hmm. because it doesn't. It, it, there's nothing we're going to vote on. But do you feel as though you're getting a pure reflection of a five or six member board with three members present? Do you, uh, do you wish to? I mean, we can talk tonight, but I personally recommend you come back when our chair and two other members are present. If you're really looking for an opinion of the board, what you're going to get tonight is the, my opinion, Kyle's opinion. And that's not the whole board. Understood. Um, but but and, I'm happy to and, talk and to you. Full disclosure: I I did speak with the chairman. Okay. Um, certainly got his sense of the. The general so if, if you if you would be satisfied with Wilmer and I and Carl's feedback, it's cool. a, it's an informal discussion. Regardless, we Let's don't go. have the property under contract yet. That will change probably very shortly. <laughs> but given that circumstance, I don't represent the the property owner. Our concern is we have uh, probably two tenants, and both of whom will want drive-throughs. So you're a developer and you're going to build a suit for two tenants? Uh, it'll be probably more than that, but... You know, At least two. Yeah, it, it's be more not unlikely that um, 
depending upon how it gets configured, uh, and, and, and I'm not sure how this would, would break up, whether it would be uh, two end I'm caps assuming it would be uh, in this this we can cover. I'm assuming it would be an individual variance associated with each individual site plan. Something along those lines. Okay. But so the sense would simply be in the commercial strip zone is is there a is there an issue with at this point granting a what I understand would be a a variance, which in in my layman's, you know, 35 years worth of being a layman in the real estate business, um, use variances are are tough things to maintain. Um, however, I'd probably be really happy to have one. It's in strip commercial. That's really all we need to know. I wouldn't ask you to give up the location and spoil a potential deal so somebody could watch this video next Saturday and go scoop right, the property. Right. <laughs> but um, but your question's a legitimate one. I have a I have an opinion, but before I voice my opinion, um, I'm going to ask if Wilma has anything that she'd like to say or ask of you. Um. <clears throat> When uh, you this is this is in Wareham Marketplace, right? I'm sorry. This is in Wareham Marketplace. You're talking about that. I couldn't you say. Want, or you, you just you just want drive-through, right? We want, yeah. In terms of zoning relief, um, I, let me let, let me back up, and I'll I'll keep it as generic as I can, but give you as much information <coughs> as I can. Okay. Okay. So first of all. I, I'm from here, but I'm not from here. I grew up in Winchester. I used to own a house in Chatham many, many moons ago. Um, 20 years ago, I moved to Atlanta. I've been in the real estate business since 1979. Um, we had a, 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 a tenant need identified to us for, for Wareham, and we develop all over the country. So. In responding to that, I started doing due diligence. It became apparent that in this particular zone, there's, uh, there's a blank. Zoning doesn't allow a drive-through currently. Right, so uh, you're right. It's not an allowed use. It's not a prohibited use either, but that's that's for interpretation of the board, et cetera, of how you would treat it. So when I spoke with Jasmine, um, she informed me that it's the board's opinion that it would be a variance. So when I questioned her on that, I said, so it's a use variance. That would be my interpretation. And, and I'm simply, I, I think it's simply twofold for, for me here. What is the board's sense of generally granting such a thing? And also, has there been any discussion about uh, use variances are something that uh, that they're tough to maintain. You know, it, it's what's your hardship? The, you know, things along those lines. Um, so, does that color the board's willingness to grant one? Because it's critical to us. I, I don't. I I wouldn't be sitting here. I you know I wouldn't have hopped on a plane to come up here oh. if it wasn't important. Is. Uh we him resident for quite a while. I and a board member for 12 years. I have my impression of uh, drive-throughs and I think once you let one drive-through in an area, they're going to come in and say, well, you let David over here have a drive-through. Why can't I have one because you allowed that one? And we, East Wareham, they got all their drive throughs We have been like trying to, I feel that we've been trying to keep a section, one half a section of Cranberry Highway. That's mostly where they go for drive throughs We, not to get overrun you know, with 
uh, people coming in and uh, having drive throughs through from the highway. You know, I, I just feel that it's, we don't need a lot of drive throughs That's why I asked if you were uh, the marketplace because it's a different situation with the marketplace. The marketplace is a, like, like the mall, like the crossing. And if that needed, wanted a drive through which can't see it, but it's okay. I uh, would, would think it would be fine for, for um, maybe a small restaurant that for the elderly that would like to come to go through in the morning, grab a breakfast, and go back home. Uh, that's one thing I think we him on that side should have with because of the mobile home park. I think they should have a. Uh, a breakfast, like like they used to be years ago. It used to be friendly. It used to have a good breakfast, you know, and and those places. And I think it would be appreciated if we had a breakfast restaurant on that side of town. That's all. Okay. I still am okay. against. You know? I hope that gives you a sense of her. But Cal, do you have any? It does. Um, right. Any comment? I'd have to see it. I but I I'm not against it at all. All right. Now that. You, now that they've both given their opinions, I'll give you mine because it's very strong. That's why I didn't want to go first. <laughs> um, my opinion is, my personal opinion, first of all, I'll start out by saying I would always vote in favor of a drive through It would be pretty hard to convince me there was a bad one. So now you know where my, my position is. And I'll elaborate on that by saying that I think our bylaws are flawed. I think that... <clears throat> It's very possible that a select group of people manage to get something into the bylaws that shouldn't be in the bylaws. Again, this is my opinion, and I don't have a big problem with drive-throughs. Um, drive-throughs include banks, pharmacies, restaurants. The only thing I, the only thing I'm not real big on is drive-through liquor stores, and um, <laughs> they have them down south, and I guess they're not so bad. But that's just that's a that's a personal thing. I wouldn't like drive-through cigarette machines either. So that's got nothing to do with drive-throughs. That's a personal thing. So um, that said, I hope that gives you a sense of my position. My position is that the bylaws need to be fixed, and the language right now that's not prohibiting but not making them readily available needs to be fixed, but that takes an act of the town right. meeting. So yes, you'd be forced to come in front of this board. If I was present and I was voting, you'd get a favorable vote from me. Okay, I appreciate it. Um, I think you all understand. Um, you, know, you, grant I, a, you grant a variance for a drive through in a certain district. I, I think it's, it's I just a, you, I think it's you've effectively changed the, the bylaw I've heard, anyway. And, and you know nothing against Wilma or anybody else that acted or, or, or were involved in boards before, but I've heard in public meetings and in private conversations, members of our town say, Well, we've got enough drive throughs in East Wayham and we don't want them in West Wayham. Well, to me that's you know, almost shameful to say that. <laughs> it's a restriction of trade in my opinion. Um, I, I don't think I'm a big believer in capitalism, and you know, I don't believe in restricting anything. Oh, nice. <laughs> you know, and and so, you know, drive-throughs are good. You know, they they bring a lot of revenue, they create jobs. That's that's my opinion. So, my my opinion is strong. I think our bylaw is flawed and it needs to be repaired. That's my opinion. Um, so. It is, uh, and I I will tell you this. I. Uh, we do a tremendous amount of restaurant business and uh, basically all over the country. I mean, right now we're developing in Ohio. Dunkin' Donuts and Mary Lou's and well, Honeydew and, and no, Burger no. King. I mean, them them guys, the, we don't need them. The restaurants that, that you traditionally think of as drive through restaurants need drive throughs McDonald's, There's Burger also King. There's a lot of restaurants now that will not, they will not do a store without a drive through exactly. And you do not think of them traditionally as drive-through type restaurants. They, it is a pickup 
it's just purely a pickup window for them. But things are changing. Uh, you know, digital ordering. Uh, you know, just pickups for uh, for for large scale orders. Um, it's the way that stores are staffed, and what's happening is that stores, even you know, restaurants that that you would never associate a significant amount of volume in it through a drive-through. They may do 30 or 40 percent of their business mm -hmm. through a drive-through, which is exactly why they won't go without one. It's driven by the customers. It's not driven by the restaurant. So that's why it's so it's, an, it's so important to me. And I think to some extent, what you're going to see presumably in, in the future is, is you're going to hear from some restaurants that you might kind of wonder, well, why would you care about a drive through I mean, you don't. No. You know, it's, but now they need them. I, 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 can't, I, I can't personally put my mind or wrap my mind around the objection, but that's because I'm so in favor of them. But I'm sure those that object have some rationale and I won't comment whether I think their thinking is flawed or not. I think my position um, <laughs> clearly um, states my thoughts on that matter. But uh, I hope we, you know, if you want to come back in, on the 13th, you said you flew up here for this. If you're satisfied with a sense of the board after this evening, good luck with your project. And if you want to come back on the 13th, you're welcome. Okay, I appreciate it. I, I've got a couple of meetings tomorrow, including right. one with you. If we see you again, great. If not, I hope we see the results of your well, labor. I appreciate the time. That's, uh, Th thanks for coming it, in. It, it has been helpful. Thank you. And, and we've got um, the next thing under A correspondence on the agenda this evening. It says C correspondence via email or, and or in packets. Is that related to the same thing? Or? That's the same yeah. same thing. That's what it's always in the. Uh, it's the same same. It's always there, just in case there's something in the uh, in the packets. For the upcoming for for the record, upcoming hearings we have September 13th. We have a major modification coming from J D Wareham LLC, care of J Donegan Company. That's at 2419 and 2427 Cranberry Highway, and 4 Seth F Toby Road. Other than that, is there any new business the board's aware of? No, but I have a question. You know, then let's hear. That's new business. Yeah, that's why I had. I, I'd like to know, like, we've got a coming up. It's, and we don't have to know where it was, but we have coming up raising and rebuilding a home. And, and I know of a house that was torn down and I guess they're going to build a new one, and they haven't been before us. How come? Well, do all do all most of the time yes. tear downs by have to come before the zoning board? Can, aren't some of them it automatic? Has. It always has. Hang on a minute. I Look see the, the, guy see that the was building just commissioner here. in the room. So let me re, let me reference it. Is it necessary for somebody to get our permission to tear a house down? This board's to all dimensional requirements. So if a, if a home has the setbacks, the frontage, and the square footage. It, it doesn't have to conform to the frontage because the lot is grandfathered. It was created back. back Hang on, just, just David, just a, just a minute. Yeah. Bob, can, are you able to record this response? Are you, no. you able to hear it? No. Do you mind coming up and just having this discussion so that it's on the record so that Sure. Thank you. So I'm going to ask the question again. Is, is it necessary for an applicant or to come in front of this board to tear a house down? If the structure is non-conforming dimensionally as far yes. as area, building coverage, impervious coverage, setback, or height, they would have to come back in front of the board. If they're going to tear down a house that, that that is only non-conforming due to lot size area, then they then it would be okay as long as it met all of the other dimensional requirements. Does that answer your question? Why a house could be torn down without us saying okie dokie? If the only non-conformity is the lot size and frontage, provided that the lot was lawfully created mm -hmm. by plan or deed at the time, 
then uh, our bylaw under 1335 will, will so allow the, it. So the answer is that applicants come before the building department on a regular basis and ask to do things, and the building department is allowed to say yes. And the reason for this board is if the building department says no and they want to appeal that decision, they can come in front of this board. That's right. So. No, the, my main question was because uh, down where I live, there was a house torn down that's been falling apart for a long time. Yep. And it's right on the water. So I thought when they had gone to conservation that it would, uh, their next round would be to come to us because they're right on the water and they have to, and we hadn't, I hadn't seen it. So I just was then wondering if there was a reason why they didn't <coughs> have to. It probably met all of the requirements. But the lots uh, down there. Under 1335 there. it says as long as the alteration or reconstruction itself conforms to the requirements of the bylaw setbacks yada, yada, et cetera, then it, then it's fine so so in, in any case you can add on to a house that's non-conforming if the house is non-conforming and you put an addition on that house but, but the addition itself meets all of the requirements of the bylaw then that addition you can grant them a building permit yeah, yeah, building and, and that's right and that's no different than if the house gets torn down and reconstructed in the same footprint in a lot of cases. Well, it isn't the same footprint because it's got to be moved expand, back. As long as the expansion itself conforms to the requirements of the bylaw. We'll have to watch the case law pretty carefully on this because I know there's a case in uh, Falmouth going through housing court where it has to be specified within the zoning regulations that raising of a building and reconstruction is a permissible reconstruction. Yeah, and we have, we have it in our bylaw, so it calls it out in the bylaw. There's actually a lot of case law on, on this exact same situation. No, it's just, uh, as I said, because... No, it's a good question, one, No, but all the other houses around that had to be, re, were torn down and rebuilt, came before zoning, too. So they, could have, they could have been asking for too much lot coverage. Right. They could have been, you know, there's, there's a lot of reasons why he could say no. But if there's no reason for the building department to say no, they don't need to come before us. Right. He's got to go down and look at the lots on Rose Point first. Uh, <laughs> any other new business? I thank you for answering that question. No, thank Anytime. you. Any, any other new any business? Um, mm -hmm. um, that said, um, I'd like to entertain a motion to adjourn. Is she has something? Pardon me? What? That lady? Oh, I have a question. I well, then we won't question. adjourn. Go ahead. Come on up, ma'am. <laughs> Um, on the hearing for uh, the gas station? Yep. Was it, was it, was it, it was the, the gas station is um, under preliminary business on the agenda under modification El Fief El Bob 3070 Cranberry Highway. Uh, no, no, no. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Main, Main Street. Street. 307 Main Street. Bellows. Under public hearing A. Um, Attorney Bellow was here. Um, at the board's request, He's agreed to allow us to continue until September 13th. The reason for the continuance was not the applicant. It was the board doesn't have sufficient members to vote this evening. Uh, okay. okay. So you're a, an abutterer. You're an interested party. If, yeah. if you have something that you want to say to the board, you need to come back on oh, September 13th. You're, you're more than welcome to come back on the 13th. Okay. Thank you. Everybody. Thank you. Okay. Any other new business in front of us? Then again, I'll, I'll entertain a, a motion to adjourn. Second. Means. Okay. M motion second by me. Second by Kyle. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. We're adjourned. Thank you, Bob. <laughs>